Okay, so this is how to split um, documents if you don't need them all. So I'm going to go into this document here and I'm going to go to view. All right, so I'm going to send this to the listing agent. And so I need that, I need these documents here. However, I also sent this via DigiSign to get signed. So I don't need this, this document here, which is three pages, or the buyer advisory. So I'm going to see what pages these are. So it's page 15. You can see page 15 here through page 30. But I also need 31 through 46. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to print. I'm going to save as a PDF, but I'm only going to pick certain pages. So I'm going to go to custom and I'm going to pick 1 through 14, comma, 31 through 46. And then I'm going to make sure that that's what I have here. So I have all of the contract and I do not have the buyer advisory or the affiliated business and all the pages are here that I need. I'm going to go ahead and save. I'm going to save it to my Google Drive or Documents, wherever you want to save it to. I'm going to go to that uh, file that I've already set up from before, and I'm going to name this uh, to Listing Agent and Offer. Okay. Um, if and it's under this, it's under the address of the um, of the uh, property. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes to save it because I've already saved it before when, when I showed you how to do this. And so now um, what I have is, let's see here, I'm going to go to my files. I'm going to go to my email. I'm going to compose. I'm going to send it to the listing agent address, uh, email. I'm going to put in 10202 North 105th. Avenue offer and I'm going to write please see offer for 10202 North 105th Avenue all documents documents required for this offer are attached please let me know if you have any questions and that you have received this email. Um, thank you. I, I look forward to hearing from you or whatever. And then your name at the end, okay? And then you go ahead and send after you've attached it. So how do I attach it? Um, I go down to Attach File. I'm going to select the file that I want to attach and hit open. Let me get rid of this and hit open. So now it's attached or it's attaching. Okay. And then I go ahead and hit send. I'm not going to send because it's not a real thing. All right. So I sent it. All right. So now if I have something that I need to fix, I'm going to go um, to my um, I'm going to go to my uh, forms and I'm going to go, I'm gonna, I'll start over. So I go to SkySlope. I can fix it in DigiSign if I want to or I can go to my apps. So I go to my apps and I'm going to create a new file. And this is going to be for the buyer. First name is Terry, last name is Perry. And her email address, I'm going to put in her email address. I know this is my email, but I don't know Terry's email, so I'm putting in mine. And then down here, I'm going to do it. Uh, the file name is 10202 North 105th Avenue. And it's going to be for Terry Perry. And then I'm go not going to click either of those because it'll change it to either the address or the or the primary client's name, and I'm going to hit create. All right, so what do I need to do? 
Um, in order to add anything here, I have to add something. So I'm just going to add a, um, I'm just going to add a addendum and go to next. And then I can get rid of this if I want to, because I don't need it. I'm going to add a form. Oh crap, you have to do it afterwards. Next. So I'm going to add my, I'm going to upload my document that I have that I need to fix. I'm going to go to my drive. I'm going to go to the file that I need and say that I need to fix something in here. So I'm going to select the one that I need to fix. I'm going to open. When it says done, I can hit done. Now I can get rid of this one here. So this is the one that I need to fix. I'm going to fill and send and prepare for signature. So it's Terry that needs to sign, but it's under my email address. And I'm going to go next. <clears throat> and then um, let me make this bigger here. I move this over here. Okay. So, so if I want to make this bigger or smaller, I can come over here and make this bigger or smaller. Um, if I do the checkbox, say that I need to check a box. So I'm going to go to the third page here. These aren't checked. If I click checkbox and I click here and move my move my cursor just a little bit, it's going to show up a teeny tiny thing. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to hit checkbox and I'm just going to put my cursor right in the center here and click once. So here's my box and now I can move it over the center. If I click in it, double click in it, check by default and make it read only, it's just going to show that it's, um, our, it's all, always going to be checked. Nobody has to check it or sign for it. I'm going to add another checkbox and I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to click inside it and I make it a read only. And then I have to add the buyer's name here. So I'm going to go field, text field, click once, move it down on the box. Then over here I can put in the name. So it'll be Terry Perry. And if I spelled it wrong, I'm sorry. This is also going to be a read only. Okay. And then down here, I'm going to do a signature and put it where the buyer signs and also do a date. If she needed to do an initial, I would put an initial. If I don't like this or I made a mistake, I click on it and I go over here to delete. Okay. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and hit send. And I'm going to name this uh, 10202 North 105th Avenue, Terry, Terry, Perry Offer or fix, fix lead based paint or whatever. Okay. Um, and send for signature. And then when I get it back, I can just send it to the listing agent. All right. So if I need to correct something, so let's go to the lead based paint. Oh, where's lead based paint? I'm here. Lead based paint. Say that I put my initials in here and here and they were completed. Um, I could go to strike and put a strike through here and then put my initials down here where they belong if this was already signed. Okay, if it's not signed, you could just hit it, hit delete, hit the check, hit the strike through and hit delete. So make sure that when you're putting your initials in, they're in the correct place, all right? Um, and then make sure that you have the right person here. So this would be for the cooperating agent or the selling agent. This is the listing agent, and then you also have to put a checkbox in here. So I'm going to hit my checkbox and checkbox. You can put your checkbox anywhere you want to go. I'm going to delete this one. Say I need a checkbox right here, but it's hard to get it in this box. I can click it here and then just move it over. All right, so I'm going to click double click and make it a read only and then send it for signature. Okay. So that's how you do that. Once you get it back, um, I'm going to exit out of here. Once you get it back, you're going to go up to Skyslope Forms. You're going to go to your files and then your file you're going to select. You're going to go to envelopes. I don't have anything here because I didn't send anything. 
So I'm going to go back to my files and show you. Here's one that I have with envelopes. If it's not completed, it won't be all green here. Um, I can also download the individual PDFs into a zip file or download a single envelope uh, as a PDF. So um, I can open this up and check it out to see what it is. And I say, okay, all these forms are okay to send. So I can download or I can print, save as, as a PDF, hit save. And when I save it, I'm going to go to my file. It's not going to be your 102 because that doesn't belong there. It's going to go into my 200 to Scana. And I'm going to save it as uh, whatever it is. I put test here because I want to know that that's not it. And I hit save. And then when I go to write to the listing agent, whatever their name is. I make sure that I put in the 10202 North 105th Avenue offer. Um, and then I'm going to attach it. So I'm going to go to where I saved it at the 200. And it's under test. Um, if I can't find it, I can go date modified. And it's right here. So I go ahead and select that one, and it's attached right here. And then I go ahead and send after I write down what it is and what it's for, and thank you very much for taking my offer. And I hit send. There's no real name in here, so I'm not going to send it. And that's how you correct or uh, save as a PDF.